Hi Aquarius, welcome into your reading. Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, hope you guys are all doing well. Um, let's see what's going on here for you. We're reading for... Wow, that's so funny. Um, usually any cards that pop out before I start asking for things, I use them as preliminary messages. And the first card that came out was the star card, which is your card, um, which is the Aquarius card. So you guys are being optimistic and hopeful over a situation right now, as I can see. And if you're not, the Spirit's saying you have to be. You need to be optimistic and positive regarding some matter you're dealing with right now. Universe, Angel, Spirit, Guides, what's going on for Aquarius? The... Uh, third to fourth week of August, the last part of their summer, please. What is their situation? Guys, I'm going to cut away three zodiac signs from my roster. Uh, I'm just going to do it by the lowest ranking. So, of course, please let me know how you feel about the channel. If you want to keep seeing readings or not, just leave no remarks down below. <laughs> And yeah, also if there's any members, because I think I'm if if I keep up with Aquarius, what's coming towards the spirit? If I keep up with your readings, there will be some extended videos as well, uh, which will only be allowed through memberships. All right. Um, the incoming energy spirit is kings. My audience are the queens, please. What don't they see coming? What is their advice, please, Spirit? All right, guys. And last but not least, let's see what your outcome is for the week. And then we can begin your reading. I see you guys have uh, emotionally shut down a little bit. Or you're guarded. You feel a little bit like a wounded warrior here. Let's see what's going on. Oh, that's why. Shit. Shit. Okay. Let, oh, my God. Aquarius, we're going to have one of those readings, aren't we? Uh, I hope you're prepared. Take a seat, okay? Because your overall message of the week is uh, the Seven of Swords in reverse. I don't know if you found out your partner cheated on you or if your partner ghosted you or lied to you or stole from you or whatever shitty shit you do in the shadows, this is what is coming towards you. This is you finding out about this. Now, if you're the one doing this, having an affair, cheating, doing whatever, the shitty shit in the shadows, you're going to get found out. Okay, so this is going to be the overall message of the week. Let me see what went down in your recent past at the bottom of the deck. Please give me a moment. Some of you were dealing with an Aries. I can see that over here. The Emperor and the Fool back here. Queen of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Doesn't have to be. So here you were in the recent past. I don't know if you were waiting for somebody to come towards you and they were dragging their feet. Finally, they stopped dragging their feet and they kind of came towards you. They opened their eyes and they said, oh my God, this person's a blessing in disguise. Could be you too. You could have been like dealing with somebody from your past that you weren't interested in, but then you had a second chance with them and then, I don't know, things were different. Five of Swords. You had to cut your losses. You had to make a sacrifice of some kind. It was bittersweet. The high priestess, you were trying to use your intuition in regards to a situation or you kind of just were like not really talking to this person. It was just like on and off with the nine of pentacles, you being independent and single on your own. When you got then you hit a crossroads in your life. Right. And you were saying to yourself, you know what? I'm nurturing. I'm loving. I'm kind. I'm caring. Is that person? Because that's what I want in my life. And they're not being that. So I'm going to take a leap of faith. I'm going to take a risk. Towards this person who's maybe an Aries, doesn't have to be, can be somebody older than you, somebody who creates empires, somebody that is badass, actually, I gotta say so. Um, but also, was there was like some sort of an affair here, a fling of some kind. You didn't resist it. No one fought it because you were trying to heal yourself from another matter, another situation. Anyway, somebody here, or if that wasn't you, that was your person. Somebody put their cards on the table with the Ace of Swords here, right? Okay, this is what's going on with me. This is what's going on with you, blah, blah, blah. When you got this truth or when you heard this information or it was all put out on the table, 
you felt excited about your future. You were excited about the path. And then you started scoping something out, okay? You tried to figure out something. You started the new chapter in your life, but there was a lack of uh, invitation, meaning there was a lack of somebody coming towards you to ask you out or to deal with your emotions. The emotions was turned away, okay? It's like, it's like turning on the faucet to feelings. The faucet was shut off, okay? And then we have the Empress back here where it feels like you were birthing some sort of legacy into this world. You were trying to produce something into this earth, whether it's physically a family, a business, a company, a relationship, a situationship, something you were trying to bring into this world. All right. But then some truths came out, some shitty shit came out, like some really fucked up shit came out because your situation is even though this is out and about now. Whether this was you or them and you're finding out or they found out. The Six of Cups in the Chariot, you're trying to put the past behind you. It's like you're almost trying to run away. You're trying to run away from your past. How are you doing this? You might you might be saying, no, I'm not. No, I'm not, I'm not running away from my past. But you kind of are when you're doing the Chariot. Because the Chariot remains focused on themselves and their lives. Regardless of the positive things and the negative things happening to them. They're, you're like, I'm not going to let this shit distract me. I'm not going to derail myself. I'm not going to lose focus over this person. No, you're not because you're a badass, Aquarius. You're a fucking empress. Even though this is going on. However, this is something to do with your recent past. We're going to clarify and we'll see what this is all about. What's coming towards you in the near future position is the Ace of Wands and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. I don't like this. I'll be honest with you. This is a passionate new beginning with a whole buttload of breadcrumbs. And this is somebody to keep someone in their orbit so they don't go anywhere. Because why? A, that person is trying to figure out what their next step is or their next move. Or B, they're not sure if they're interested or not in this person. So they keep them lingering around. But I don't care what fucking planet you're on or what earth you're on. Breadcrumbs is breadcrumbs. And I don't know if you're doing this or you're receiving this. But Ace of Wands is just booty. It's just sex. It's just passion. And it's just the initiation of that. So it's the opportunity of. It's what comes after that that's important. So if this was like an Ace of Wands and there was a Ten of Cups, I'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, girl, yeah, boy, go get it. Get some. It ain't like that. That's breadcrumbs. Because now I'm just giving you not only just tough love, I'm getting upset for you because I feel like kicking this person's ass for you. Because Aquarius are my people. I love Aquarius people. All my best friends. Let's see what else is going on. You and Sagis for some reason. <laughs> what else is coming towards you? Temperance and the hangman. Um, speaking of uh, Sagittarius. What you don't see coming is you're going to be stuck. But that's a good thing. I think because when you get in this like stuck position, you're trying to see something from a different perspective. And while you're doing that, you begin to restore balance in your life healing because it's saying and i think you know this that patience is required and needed in this dynamic in this situation so we're going to clarify and get a little bit more info uh, on that as well now it does say in your advice interestingly enough where if you remember what i said earlier nine of wands this is you being defensive or not defensive wrong word <sighs> wounded warrior so emotionally shut off right but when I get the nine of wands in your advice position, it kind of says, yeah, you do need to protect yourself right now. You do need to emotionally protect yourself. So there is a good reason for that to be there. Uh, but let's move on and see what's going on. Others of you, it could be saying, let it down, because if you're not emotionally available to somebody, you're not going to be able to bond. And then there's nothing there and there's nothing real. Um, outcome. Three of swords, page of pentacles. This is profound pain. There's no other way to say this. And I really hate that it's in your outcome position. But this is interesting that you have the page of pentacles. Someone here is making you some kind of offer that is small. This person, for some of you, could be far younger than you. And you have to let them go. And you're making this decision. And it hurts the shit out of you. Others of you, this is you getting a small offer where you need to learn from this pain. Interestingly, I don't know what that means. I'm just being told to say this and this is what I'm reading because that's what the cards are saying. 
So let's go ahead and start clarifying these cards. So then I can go watch my football game, the Giants versus the Bengals at the stadium so I can see the fucking Giants lose their shit. I'm sure nobody here is a football fan. Uh, but I won tickets and I want to bring my daughter there to show her what a football game is like. So enough of me. Six of Cups and the Chariot. What is this all about? Please clarify. Plus, here's another uh, reason why I just made that uh, story about the Giants. Even though I don't really care to go see this or do this, you never know who you're going to meet, right? So that's a note for you single people. All right, let's see. Six of Cups, the Chariot, and the Fool. The Fool's come out twice now. Interesting that I've seen it twice. You guys are going to take a leap of faith. You're going to take a risk. You're going to try to leave your past behind, and you're going to move forward. Even though that this situation might be something that's not like, I don't know, it's got red flags all over the place, Aquarius. You're thinking about doing it anyway. Others of you, you're running away. You kind of are. Can't really say it any other way. From your past. I don't mean to be fucked up, but sometimes some people need to have a wake-up call. Um, you guys are discerning adults. You know who that applies to. You know if that's not you, it's not you. Some of you do need to hear that, though. You're running away from your past. What is the Ace of Wands and the Six of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, I don't think you're going to be doing that for long. All right? Because there is somebody here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, somebody here who's emotionally available. Um, Page of Cups in reverse. There's something a little bit immature about this person. This person's like not giving in in the sense of like, it's these breadcrumbs I'm talking about. Like they barely text you. They barely call you back. They barely give you any kind of offer because they're trying to like keep their emotions in check. They're trying to control their emotions. And I don't know if they're feeding off of your energy, Aquarius, and this is why they're doing this. But they're not, they're breadcrumbing you, I guess, for this reason. Because to me, uh, this is an apology. This is texting. But this is also giving a gift, a piece of you. Inverted, it's not. It's also a little immature and dumb, but whatever. Because the king is upright. He's not an idiot. So it tells me, and he's not not available. He is. He's into you. The only reason he would be breadcrumbing you and not texting you or not calling you but you're having this passion in your beginning is because he might be feeding off of your energy. And you personally don't even know what to do with this person. Two of swords. Let me see. Temperance and the hangman, please. So the knight of wands in reverse. That is a one night stand, my friends. <laughs> Period, the end, goodbye. Uh, yeah, and now you're waiting. So I don't know if some of you had a one-night stand here with somebody and now you feel stuck waiting for them. Others of you, your partner had a one-night stand and you're still waiting for them to come back to you. You're very much in a stuck place trying to heal from this. This is, my, this is definitely what this is. Somebody here had an affair. Somebody here had a one-night stand. All right, and that's why it's the overall theme of the week. And the other person is trying to recover even though they still want that partner. They want to keep that partner. But it's a problem. All right? So let me see what's going on here. Yeah, you're waiting. So I don't know if you had a one-night stand and you're waiting for that person to come back to you. Or your partner had a one-night stand. But you're still waiting for your partner to come back. Because you want to come in from out of the cold. Because you're married or you're engaged or you have a relationship. You have a courtship together. What is, but the Nine of Wands is saying you need to protect yourself. That is probably also why you had the High Priestess at the back of the deck. When I see the High Priestess, nine times out of ten, I will say, oh, it's my non-talking card. It's somebody you don't talk to. But then it also means your intuition. You are definitely understanding and vibing. You had your intuition. Your antennas were up. This is why this is the card on top. You, you you were sensing it. You were feeling it already. So in your advice, Spirit's like saying, you do need to protect yourself. 
Ghost of the Nine of Wands. Shit, I'm right. I have no fucking doubt. So, sorry, I curse sometimes. Bear with me. Your Nine of Wands is clarified by the Nine of Wands. When I use two different decks and Spirit doubles down, they're doubling down my message. It is a fact, okay? So, Nine of Wands is clarified by Nine of Wands. You need to protect yourself. You need the strength to hold back either from this emperor or this person who is manipulative or trying to use manipulation or trying to control you. More or less, it's a controlling um, energy. But others of you, if you have two energies and one seems loving and caring versus another person who's controlling, you might need to hold yourself back from the partner that's trying to control the whole situation or dynamic. Uh, it is definitely a fire sign. Um, it can also mean that like you, you're, you're, it's some, you're dealing probably with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And now you're looking out into your horizon and your future and see what it holds because behind that is the marriage card. Do you stay committed? Do you get in a marriage with this person? Was it just a one-off? Whatever the fuck it was, Aquarius, you still need to protect yourself. And I'm not saying from this person, I'm just saying in general. Because there is somebody here capable of loving you for the for whatever reason they did you dirty and then there's another person here i don't know they're not quite texting you or apologizing to you because the page of cups is in reverse for whatever reason they're they're going off your energy um what is the three of swords and the page of pentacles please they're feeding off your energy If you show Aquarius that you don't care, that you can't be broken, that you can't be hurt, you allow them the space to do that to you, which kind of fucking sucks, but because you guys are loving individuals, you are such caring individuals, you would do anything for your friends and family. Um, and, it, and it hurts me to see you guys get hurt because you will never voice it, you will never say it. You are like the warriors of love and hiding that pain and you mush it and push it down. Um, you have your little ways of getting it out so you can persevere, but it's not enough. Um, let's see your outcome here is the Three of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. Uh, it is clarified by the Knight of Swords. Yeah, all right. So someone's rushing in to give you a small offer. Again, it's just peanuts. It's just pentacles. Um, and you have walked away from a situation, well... You will be walking away from a situation that's going to get you stuck. Uh, even though justice is trying to make its way to you. Meaning to bring fairness back into your life. And I think the only way you're going to bring fairness back into your life. But this is like in the coming weeks. Maybe even months. You're going to walk away. Not necessarily from the person or the situation. Well, it's the situation. Not the person. Um, and you do. But anyway. Somebody comes in. Rushes in. And they give you this information that you, you learn. And it's heartbreaking. That's what this outcome is. Okay? This knight brings in this page. And they offer you the real deal. Alright? And it's heartbreaking. Because the page is learn. The page of pentacles learn things. And you learn from this person whatever this news is. And that suck, That freaking sucks and blows. Let me see. And next week I guess your reading would be far different. Um, we'll see what's going on with Aquarius what do they need to hear and see and know the oracle cards to me are very important because they see things we don't sometimes we blind ourselves sometimes we don't want to hear the truth but oracle just knows alright worth waiting for is here yeah so if somebody here has done you dirty or is not the right person for you, spirit is working on your soulmate to come in towards you. Others of you, this is just talking about you need to wait something out. Um, because at the bottom of the deck, it says make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Uh, if you were a member, um, in the extended videos, what we do is we clarify this with Tarot. Then we go into your person's thoughts and feelings of you, their intentions towards you, the actions that they take, and then what spirit has. Uh, and then we go from Aries to Pisces. But we will do that starting in September. So 
please let me know if that is something that interests you down below. Now, Wisdom House of Night, one last oracle message for you guys, and that we will wrap up your reading. Please listen to the oracle messages. They are definitely divinely guided to you. Uh, fulfillment is here, so this is good. All right, let's see. This is a sign that all your needs are being met that you, clo you are close to achieving your goals. Celebrate choices at this time, for you have drawn the symbol of fulfillment. Now is the time to integrate and digest what you have learned of late. Savor every moment and know that every encounter is intended to feed your soul. You are meant to have a rich and satisfying life and taste all the experiences that life has to offer. Look around and recognize all of the ways that your life is already full. You have so many reasons to feel good about yourself. All is well and will be well when you choose fulfillment. That's beautiful. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. Please leave me your comments down below. I will see you on the next one.